I'm Annie Omar, founder of the Maison Blanche Paint Company, and today I want to show you a really cool product called La Masque. La Masque is a masking gel that you're going to apply anywhere you don't want paint to stick. Here at the Maison Blanche Paint Company factory, we generally use old paint buckets as waste paper baskets. Um, I'm going to give my girls a little treat, and I got them some new waste paper baskets. And I'm going to give it a little makeover with La Masque. The first thing you're going to do is find a stencil that you like and spray it with stencil adhesive, just a little. You're going to need to let this set up for about 30 or 60 seconds before you put it on your surface just to get tacky. Um, when you're using La Masque, you have to use it on a non-porous surface. So raw wood, you cannot use this product on. You can use it on plastic, you can use it on metal, you can use it on previously finished furniture. I could use it here on this surface because it's sealed, but you cannot use it on porous surfaces. So I think I'm almost tacky enough. I'm gonna go ahead and place my stencil on this plastic waste paper basket. Just press it down a little. Now I'm going to open up my La Masque. It looks like kind of like a white gel or cold cream. When it dries, it dries completely clear. You'll see that. And you can use just any old brush, a chip brush, any paintbrush, and dip it in. And you're just going to gently apply a thin layer. If you put it on too thick, it's never going to dry. If you put it on too thin, then you're not going to have enough on there to peel off when we're done. So thin, not too thick, but not too thin. This is clear, so you really have to tilt it at different angles to make sure that you've got all of your edges done. And I'm just gently patting it onto the surface so that it's not leaking underneath my stencil. Now we're just going to let this dry, but first we have to take off our stencil. My La Masque has dried completely. You'll know it's dry when it's completely transparent. It's not white anymore. I'm going to use some tape to protect my edges because I just want to paint the outside and not the inside. This is just plain old glue painter's tape. This is just to keep the paint from getting on the lip. All right, now I'm ready to paint. I'm going to use a color called Creme de Menthe, Maison Blanche Vintage Furniture Paint. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to use a little brush just to get into that bottom edge that a roller won't reach. Now for the rest of it, I'm going to use a roller just to get a nice even finish. I've got a little roller tray here and I've got my press and seal. For those of you who do not know this secret, this is awesome. This keeps you from having to rewash your trays and keeps them really fresh. So take a piece and you're going to put it down in the well first. And it sticks to the plastic. It's very important you do the well first. Now when I'm done, I can just pull this off and throw it away. 
I'm going to pour a little bit right into here. I've got a roller. It's a six inch roller and it spins really well. I'll always check that. I'm going to load my roller and then I'm going to kind of try to even it out so that I've got paint evenly coated on the roller. All right. Isn't this a pretty color? It's going to match really well. going straight back and forth. I'm doing random strokes. Up and down, side to side. All right. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to put a second coat on. I've put on a second coat of paint and it's dry to the touch now. Now we painted this plastic. It's very shiny and very slick. And Maison Blanche Paint Company Vintage Furniture Paint does not have any chemical drying agents in it. What that means is that it takes a little bit longer to dry and cure. So on slick surfaces, you're going to need to let your paint sit for at least a couple days, depending on how shiny the surface is, before you attempt to peel this off, or else your paint will come right off with it. We've done this same day, so I'm going to go ahead and peel a little bit just so you can see what happens. I'm going to use my fingernail. For any of you CPAs out there, is this a tool? Can I write this off on my taxes? Let me know. Seems like a tool. This technique would be really great on top of metal or plastic or even if you had um, a piece of furniture that had a wood finish on it and you wanted to paint it but still wanted some of the, the wood underneath to show through. Okay. I'm using my tool, my fingernail again, to scratch off any paint that's in unwanted areas. And you can see that the edge here is a little bit jagged. And that's not a big deal. Now, this jagged edge isn't that big of a problem because you can always use a little artist brush and dip it in your paint and just touch up those areas. But I did want to show you what happens when you pull it quickly. It's all peeled and it's ready to go. What an inexpensive way to make over a waste paper basket. I hope that you love Lamask as much as I do. Thank you so much for viewing our video and check out our other videos and let us know what you think. We'd love it if you would share your own photos using Lamask on our Facebook page. I'm Annie Omar and I'll see you next time. <laughs>